The most important thing when you're painting outdoors is not your box. It's your umbrella. <laughs> Umbrellas are crucial. Either that or sit underneath something. Now, why do we put an umbrella on, a, on our uh, Peshat boxes or in our canvases, or why do we set down underneath them? Um, so you could see color, very good. Uh, John Singer Sargent was a very Columbia's painter. He would take easels outdoors. I mean, like I showed you with that. And he would take umbrellas and boxes and he would go down. The great thing about uh, Sargent is that he could make a composition out of anything. He just needed a comfortable place to paint. So he would go out into the fields with all of this stuff and he'd look for something where he could set his stuff down. And then he'd go, yeah, that seems kind of comfortable. And then he would drop down and he'd start unfolding. And women who used to write things about him said it was like watching a gigantic clam open up. And there would be three humongous umbrellas. And then he would sprout out of the middle of these umbrellas with you know, his canvas and stuff. It was like this big awakening thing. And so his thing was very important. Umbrellas were very important. I had a workshop and one of the students, I said, if one of the biggest flaws I found I don't even have one here. I so said the biggest flaw that artists have is that there's not such things as a good umbrella. If somebody would do a good umbrella for artists, they would make a fortune. Well, one of my students went home, started her own company called Best Umbrella. And it is one of the best umbrellas. Um, so they are. Uh, uh, Easy L. That's what they produced uh, also a very good umbrella and she gave me one at the last conference and she said here try this one out we've improved it and I haven't had a chance to but if Peggy told me they've improved it I believe her. These are really good I've had the, a lot of the students work with these outdoors sometimes these are the things that I ask her to bring at the last minute and she'll ship some for us they're really great. Um, the umbrella is crucial so, not to protect yourself, but to protect the painting. One of the biggest problems with painting outdoors is too much light. Okay? So, you want to actually paint in shadow, and consistent shadow. So, these umbrellas, these artist umbrellas, are made just for artists. If you notice, they're not really made for rain. They're usually black. Now the ones that I use are actually silk, so they're actually somewhat transparent. But they shade the canvas down. So I go outdoors and I see people, they're like sitting here underneath them thinking that they don't want to get skin cancer. And I'm like going, no, 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 no. You're supposed to have skin cancer. Protect the painting. <laughs> so these are on nice long tripods and you can attach these onto your paint box or tripods themselves. You can adjust them. Notice. Um, I think she's the only company that has these. These kind of come out and they're purposely done that because if you're outdoors you can't have anything rigid. It's guaranteed to fall over. Um, so she's invented this where you tie this down so that the, the umbrella gives a little for the wind and then she's got flaps for the air to go through so that they don't cause your umbrella to fall over. These run somewhere $80 to $100 to $110. They are probably a better investment than spending your money on an expensive box. So I would highly recommend getting a good ease uh, umbrella if you're serious about painting outdoors. Now I have a few of these extras and you can um, try them out. But the Easy L, I see a lot of professional artists working underneath them. And if they're working underneath them, you can almost guarantee that they're good. The beauty of those that I see it is that the wind comes up, it will bounce out of the thing. And the, you know it's not going to blow away because it's tied down. But it's not going to tip you over. You're not going to tip you over. So that's one. It gives some give, but if it gives, it's going to fall at your feet and not you know, into the river. I've had more <laughs> accidents like that. I was in, I was in Monument Valley and I was painting a 24 by 36 canvas on a, on a French easel like that. And the only time a French easel ever failed me, but I had a 24 by 36 canvas, which in itself is like a sail. Exactly. 
and then I had an umbrella attached to the box. Well, that thing just took off like Mary Poppins. And when I finally caught up to it, it was smashed. But a little glue and some rubber bands, and I was set for the rest of the time. It was very fixable. Wood is very fixable. Now, I have one umbrella that I, I bought, you know, because I've been buying stuff for 30 years. Um, you're not getting rid of, well, the thing is, and again, I was in my basement trying to find it because it's, it is, it is one, it's a Utrecht, same people who do the thumb box, uh, Utrecht's outdoor painting umbrella that I don't even think they make anymore. And it's a cloth umbrella with a black underneath cloth and it's all cloth on the outside. Again, these umbrellas are not made to shelter you from water. They're made to shelter your painting from sunlight. It is, it's produced in Russia. And so that's why I don't think they make them anymore because it was made out of army surplus aluminum and it would have this gigantic pole that you had a stake at the end and you would have to push the stake into the ground. And if you were anywhere near a parking lot where it was, the sand was really hard, you were screwed. And so, <laughs> you know, you'd go, you'd spend 10 minutes trying to find someplace that you could drive that thing in. And then it had strings that you could tie the thing down. And then you would climb underneath this and you would paint. I did phenomenal with those and I was in 60, 70 mile an hour wind and that umbrella never failed me. It was really awesome. So, so art supplies have gone a long way since you know, the original cigar box and there's a lot of stuff on the market out there. Um, you just kind of have to see what works for you.